478 and today I got a do-it-yourself a DYI insert that way you can add six and a half whatever type of speakers you want to add inside your door this is on a um, 2010 Cadillac Escalade and what I did was we removed everything out of this vehicle all your wires totally pulling everything out and redoing everything for a good friend of mine and a great customer. So let me get right on down into it and show you what I got going on. Door panels, which I ain't gonna clean up. Smudges and stuff. Um, I think he has some, several different types of tweeters going in that thing. I'm gonna fix all that too. Um, in this insert right here, what I did was I made a, a plate that bolts on top of it and then turn around you can add um whatever else you want in there some fours it's five and a quarters but today i decided to go with a six and a half and a tweeter all by this company called prv you want to be live prv so let's check it out these are the parts that i made so in doing this, I recessed them a little bit so the speaker can actually fit down in there. And then I also have this for the tweeter as well. Um, these PRVs, they make them in a, a slim mount. And they have this uh, deeper version, which they are the same. They sound the same. This one just fits in a little tighter space. So these are going to back doors. And I'm also running the PRV slims. Um, this is the I got that people. So um, running this and man, this thing, this thing right here will have hot sauce coming out of your ear. This thing is loud. So that's what the customer's looking for. That's what I'm gonna give them. Um, after I have these made, this is one and a half inches thick. So by me doing one and a half inches thick, um, I'm able to actually pull it out far enough to where this magnet sits about right here, bottom where my, um, so it, it's no cutting involved in this, inside the door and your window motors are moved freely. Um, I do have one wrap. So it'll sit recess in here, sit recess in here. And let me show you one I got bolted in. While I'm here, I'll show you exactly what this looks like. See? And now that speaker will fit in here and the door panel will go back on and you won't have any issues with the window regulator or anything or hitting the motor and all that good stuff. Um, Just go from there. Be creative, people. Anybody can do this. You set your mind to it. It's a couple key tools you'll probably need, and I'll give you the rundown on that. So, after wrapping it, that's what it looks like. It's um something simple. I had to do it. I'm on a time limit, and it's something I had to whip up in a couple hours. But as you can see, it's gonna be a. I'm gonna use some neo magnets. So I'll put, press a grill on here and it'll just snap on, top, on front of that as well as the tweeter here. And it's nice and clean. Now you can get down and dirty, man. You can go in here, um, bevel it all out, make a press in grill, and then you won't see anything in here. It's just, I'm on a time frame and I have to get this thing in and out of here by Sunday. So, after the fact, I know people are like, oh, why did he choose to go brown? Well, the dash in here is brown. The steering wheel is brown. It's, it's two-toned all through the truck. So, you know, we just decided to two-tone the doors. His truck, not mine. So, hey, I gotta do it how they want it done. And that's how I did it. Now this, uh, this tweeter right here, I'm gonna take it out. And I'm actually gonna make a plate and probably curves around here somewhere. And just, you know, I, I don't know if I'm gonna fill it in or, um, or recess another PRV back in here, but that's kinda good. It's gotta come out of there. We're going for the nice, clean look and that ain't it. 
but another thing too, stay tuned. What I am gonna do is, I'm gonna give you a couple more clips on what the finished product looks like once they're on the doors. May even give you a little sound check, we'll see. But other than that, this is um, fairly simple. You know, it's something you can do for yourself if you're in your garage, you got a little spare time. Um, you have any questions about, hey BJ, uh, you got any tips on how this works? Bam. Cause see, only thing I did was, um, once that insert goes on here, you can just take um, some drywalls or whatever you decide to, to use and just lift up and mount it from the back side. And it'll, it'll bite into that wood and man, it ain't going nowhere. Just remember people, PRV, this is the model number. And they're slams. You, I want to say you can get them in an eight ohm. Um, eight ohms means you can, you know, run them um, in series. You can wire them back down, and you you run two, and you can get a four ohm load, four ohm impedance, and um, you know that'll have your amp, your mid highs amp running a little bit cooler, and you can actually run more, especially with these newer amps. A lot of them are one ohm stereo stable, so. Other than that, um, let's get down to the, the key tools you'll need, which in this shop, I use DeWalt and Milwaukee. Can't beat it. You're gonna need a heat gun for your vinyl. You know, this vinyl, um, it's great vinyl. It's made by Keystone, but in order to get it all in one and, and wrap kind of smooth, you're gonna wanna, you know, lay down everything flat and then heat in sections and pull and use your staple gun. And just make sure, you know, you see right there where it's, it wants to lean up a little bit and give you that crease. You're gonna wanna make sure that's back far enough and shoot a staple on there. That way it's not on the outside and you're seeing it. And that right there would hurt me to see any kind of creases on it. So you'll have a nice smooth finish and you'll have a great little product. It's a great do-it-yourself. Um, like I said, I'm BJ from the 478. If you got any questions, you wanna ask me anything, please just shoot me a message. If you're new to my channel, please like and subscribe, share this, and I give all my customers 10% off. We're down here at Sound Source of Macon, Georgia, and I appreciate you tuning in. Thank you so much.